you, Ken? Javier, doing very well. How about yourself? Great, thank you. Great day here in Texas, in Austin, Texas. Uh, beautiful day to go and uh, try your new baby, huh? Exactly. So the new uh, Cadillac ATS-B, I mean like the ATS has been uh, in the market for what, like three years now? Yes, yep, going in the third year. But, and, and since that moment, when this car came out, the, the original ATS came out, everybody was asking, when is the V coming? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, so. and it wasn't always like that. You know, when, yeah. we, when we did the first V series with CTS, people didn't even ask for yeah. it. And now we're in our third series of V series. And with the ATS-V, perfect vehicle to go ahead and launch that platform. So we are here in Austin and we're gonna, drive to Circuit of the Americas, a perfect place to try this car. But Ken, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, what makes this car like so great? Okay, so well, it starts with the underpinnings of the vehicle. So it's, it's built on the, the chassis, the award-winning chassis of the, the ATS, which obviously was a uh, yeah. major award winner. 2013 North American Car of the Year, 2014 China Car of the Year, uh -huh. 2015 Best Buy under 35,000. So um, the vehicle, nimble, quick, fun to drive, a great lightweight strong architecture as the underpinnings for the V. Now you make that great starting point that built those building blocks into a V series. And so you go ahead and you increase the structure, you increase all the members and the responsiveness of the vehicle and then you put an absolutely phenomenal engine in our 3.6 liter twin turbo. So tell, tell, tell us about it, like well, how many horsepower and what are of the performance numbers on it? Well, 464 horsepower wow. out of a 3.6 twin turbo. So it is it is by far the most output in a V6 in the segment. Um, 455 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 with the automatic in only 3.8 wow. seconds. Well, that's amazing. So no more V8s, huh? I mean, like the V8 is a uh, thing of the past now. Well, at least for the ATS-V. Yeah. Now we have a CTS-V Big Brother that'll be coming soon. So, okay. you know, wait wait to see what, what's gonna be announced but, for that. But for this car, I mean, it's like so small and light, it's more than enough. I mean, uh, this car, can, I mean, we're going to the track now. There's no need to like test it out here on the public roads, but uh, I mean, this is like a race car pretty much. Huh? Absolutely. Think, think about it this way. The outgoing CTS, which 556 horsepower, phenomenal vehicle for us. This vehicle is 500 pounds lighter than that vehicle. So now you put that high technology engine into a lightweight vehicle like yeah. this, and you're going to experience it a little bit on the track. It's you, you will. I defy you to step out without a smile on your face. <laughs> I will, absolutely, <laughs> for sure. So let's talk about competition because I mean Cadillac has been on a on a aiming like the Germans pretty much, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, BMW, and this car in particular has like very serious competition, like the BMW M4 the Mercedes-Benz C AMG and uh, the Audi RS4. So uh, how does it compare to them? Well, I mean, obviously I'm a little bit biased, but the specs speak, speak for themselves. Yeah, numbers don't lie, right? The li numbers don't lie. We're quicker. Uh, we are top speed faster. So 3.8 seconds, fastest automatic in the wow. segment. Uh, highest top speed, 189 miles per hour. And then when you take a look at the fact that we have competition specs, uh, traction control and stability track right right from uh, the factory. You can okay. take an ATSV and with maybe you can modify fluids if you want, but you don't have to. You could take it right from the the the, uh, the parking lot right to the track. So there are obviously a, like a base model uh, the, which already has a lot, and then like there's some other options. Yes. Yeah. So um, as you would expect with a V being a Cadillac, um, it comes highly equipped. Yeah. And so there's not a lot of options. Um, so, you know, it rounds just over $61,000 is the starting price, and then you can option up to some of the nicer features that we have. A lot of features that our competition doesn't have, um, including the performance data and video recorder. Okay. Uh, what's that? Can you tell us about it? Yes, yeah, sure. It's it's an integrated recorder within the vehicle that has a forward-facing camera, and so it, okay. is, it is monitoring your driving going forward and videotaping it. It's also recording the audio within the cabin. Wow. And what's nice about it is that you can overlay a different, a number of different settings over it. So you can go ahead and it monitors um, a lot of your track settings. Um, so if you're on a track or even on a road, it'll tell you what your, your speed, your RPM, but it'll also start getting into your lateral Gs, your, your steering angles, 
um, braking force, acceleration, all of that. And so it monitors all this to help make a good driver great and a great driver unstoppable. What about a mediocre driver? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make you a great driver. <laughs> great. So uh, all that's integrated. So the camera's already here and all the, the microphones and everything? Yeah. So you don't have to set up any additional No, no setup. In fact, right in the, the glove compartment, we have uh, is where an SD card yeah. goes and it, and it automatically records on that. So you set it up and it, go, it goes and records. You could put um, up to well, over an hour worth of track time on here or road time on your wow. vehicle. And what's nice, it runs off the Cosworth toolbox. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and you can analyze your data, basically slice it any way that you want, not only against yourself, but you can go ahead and download professional driver information. Wow. And now you can, compare, you can compare. And so again, you can study it to make yourself a better driver. Or you know what, if your lap time's good enough, you can put it on social media <laughs> to brag a little bit too. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, obviously the car that we are in now has the automatic transmission, uh, but obviously there's going to be a manual. I don't know why people want the manual, but because this is fantastic, right? I mean, this is like super fast and efficient. Oh, it's nice. extremely efficient. In fact, the, the, shit, the refinement on it, this, this eight speed manual, is 12 and a half kilograms lighter than the six speed it replaces. Um, it also is a super responsive, so it's as quick in shift time as many of the DCTs that are on the marketplace, but it, it provides better refinement and performance in those. So this, this is a phenomenal transmission, but for those customers, like you said, that want to kind of have a little bit more control yeah. in their hands, we do offer the six speed manual. But they weren't going to be faster. No, the, the, it's, this is faster yeah. because quite honestly, the, the vehicle can think faster than the person can. <laughs> yeah. And so for those that want to go through around the circle the quickest, they're going to pick the automatic. So, um, when uh, the ATS, the original ATS came out, uh, there were like some videos about where uh, the GM, uh, kind of like engineering team, went to test it. What happened with this car? Where did you went to test this car? It's, oh, this car has been all over the world, and so we've been to VIR in, in Virginia. We've been out west. We've also taken it to the Nurburgring in Germany. Um, and so basically at numerous tracks and not only tracks, but we also take it into some of the harshest environments like up in campus casing okay. for co extreme cold weather te testing. We go down to um, Arizona and we do extreme hot weather testing. And so any environment you can think of, we've put this vehicle through its paces. And uh, so, I mean, uh, besides the great performance from the engine and the suspension and the transmission and all of that like the interior is like ultra luxurious i mean like really great materials everywhere you touch absolutely in fact um we are the only manufacturer that has standard cut and sewn um interiors and so what yeah, is that can you explain that yeah so so you know cut and sewn is a lot of people would associate it with seats and that would be oh, correct okay, yeah. what we do is we take that level of detail that level of upholstery and we put that into the the ips and into the door trim so you can see the nice stitch lines um that's handcrafted cut and sewn and in the materials suede and microfiber accents not only in yeah. the ip and the doors but in the seats themselves and you're sitting on the the optional recaro performance seats yeah, um, they so feel very, perfect for me. Very yeah. comfort, very comfortable, very supportive. Um, and so the level of, of, well, quite honestly, the level of detail and refinement in the interior is what you would expect in a Cadillac. So let's talk a little bit about the Q because, uh, I mean, it's been uh, in the market for a few years now, but there's like an upgrade on that too, right? Yes, yeah. So, um, so this is uh, the Q system that over the years has been evolving, okay, and improving. And so um, we think we're at a very good level. We're going to take it to the next level. And so what we're going to do is, is mid-year, we're going to offer uh, an upgrade and that will be with, we'll go into the vehicles that will have a faster processor, so 40% faster processing time. So what does that mean? It means that you know when you're going ahead and you're making your selection, it's 40% quicker than it was before. So as good as it was before, basically taking a tablet experience and bring it into your vehicle, yeah. it's going to be even that much better when we have the upgrade. Excellent. Well, I, I got a lot of good things about this car, so where we drove, drove from... Uh Austin at the Hotel Santa Lucia, beautiful hotel by the way, that Cadillac like put us here there. And now we are at uh, Circuit of the Americas again, so let's see how I do. I know that car's gonna do well, but let's see how I do it. You're, you're gonna do just fine, so I, I guarantee you too, by the end of the day, you're gonna be better than at the start. So Thank you very much, guys. Anytime. Bye. Right. Let's get out.